Hello and welcome to another Artie Mouse film. This week we're going to talk about sketchbooks, how to make backgrounds so that you can create some interesting images in your sketchbooks. So do you remember at school when you had a sketchbook and you had to explore an idea, you had to talk about different artists, you had to talk about the development of an idea, you had to prove that you'd thought about your idea and develop it through stages till you got to a final piece. But a sketchbook now is a little bit less prescriptive, something you can do just for you to explore your drawing, your talent, your ideas in a particular book. So I'm gonna show you a few different ideas for things you can use in the background before you start drawing. The first is to use scraping. So take your paint and take a credit card or a piece of cardboard, scrape the paint onto the background. Use quite muted colors so that you can draw over the top of these without it interfering with your work. It's a very simple idea. Just leave things to dry and move on. The second idea is to use collage. So you can use anything for this. You can use colored paper, you can use newspaper, old wrapping paper, old books, maps, colored paper, even old drawings that you weren't happy with that you can rip up and use parts of. Just, just as this is just a background, so it doesn't have to be perfect. Use ripped edges, use text, use patterns. And then you can also use the scraping tool again to put paint over the top. If things get a bit too busy then you can use say white or black paint to just push the idea back again and then you can draw on top. So a sketchbook can be all sorts of different things. It can be a journal of all your ideas, it can be a way to get your thoughts out on a piece of paper, it can help with your mental health because you can get things out of your head and onto the page. You can also use them on holiday. I've done this quite often where I take a sketchbook full of backgrounds like this onto a holiday with me and then I fill it with all the ticket stubs and the postcards and stamps and drawings of things that I've seen on the holiday, all sorts of bits and pieces that remind me of my time there. And then you can look back at that and have a good memory of the things that you did while you were away. Now, do you remember at primary school when you were asked to paint blobs on one side of a piece of paper, fold it in half and give it a squish, and then when you opened it out, you would draw, down, draw a body down the middle and you would have a butterfly. Now, this is the same sort of idea. All I want you to do for this one is to put some paint onto the page and then squish it with another piece of paper. You can keep using it, turning it, going back and forth. Um, you can scratch with your fingernails into it, all sorts of different things you can do just to create shapes and patterns on your piece of paper that you can use. And then you've got a background for a drawing. Don't forget that you can also use the piece of paper that you were squishing the paint with as another piece of sketchbook background for one of your collages. Now the key to using sketchbooks is habit. If you have a sketchbook but you leave it on the shelf, you are never going to use it. What you need to do to create the habit of using your sketchbook to jot down your ideas is to leave it out. So leave it on the desk, leave it on your table, find time each day, perhaps even set aside time each day. Say to yourself, right, as soon as I get home from work, I'm gonna sit and draw for 15 minutes just to relax my brain, just gonna get a cup of tea, just gonna draw. Because the amount of time you spend looking at your phone is time you could be spending drawing. Now using biro and hairspray as a background is another good one. Check that they work together first. Some biros and when you mix with hairspray don't actually do anything. Um, but most biros when you add hairspray to them will bleed and expand and change color because black biro particularly is made up of lots of different colors of ink. So if you add hairspray, sometimes those colors will separate and create purples and greens, which are really interesting. 
So check that you've got a biro that actually works with this first and you can create scribbles like I have on this particular one or you can create all sorts of beautiful patterns and then you can distort them with the hairspray. The cheaper the hairspray you've got, the better it seems to be. Um, I don't know why, but if you've got some really nasty, nasty cheap hairspray, then that will probably bleed the inks better than something posh. And you don't want to waste the posh stuff anyway, do you? So a sketchbook can also be a boredom book. You could buy something that is really small, say A5 or A6, and then just have it in your back pocket with a pencil or in your, in your handbag. And instead of looking at your phone when you're waiting for the bus, draw what's in front of you. Just use it as a doodle book. You could draw patterns in it all the time. Just instead of looking at your phone while you're waiting in a waiting room for the doctors, draw yourself a little pattern, draw some flowers, draw what you see in front of you. It's just much more interesting than the stress of looking at your emails. And when you finish it, you kind of see a visualization of all your thoughts and all your ideas over the last few weeks. Another background you can create is with ink and bleach. Now, again, same as the biro here, you need to check that the ink will work with the bleach before you start. Do a little experiment page first because some inks won't bleed with, um, with bleach and some will. So have a little experiment. And you also need quite a lot of time with this one because the ink and the bleach take lots of time to react to one another. It can also get everywhere, so be ever so careful with this, especially with your clothes. Make sure that you've got something behind your page so that you don't bleed into the rest of the pages of the sketchbook, particularly if you've got drawings on other pages, you don't want to ruin those. So do be ever so careful with this one. So a sketchbook can just be an experiment. It's just for trying things. If you want to know whether something will work or not, if you want to try a technique, if you want to try a drawing idea, it's, it's a no pressure environment. You don't have to show this to anybody. It's just for, can be for experimenting with things. Maybe you have two sketchbooks, maybe you have one that's just your mucking about with ideas book and then a proper sketchbook that you can work on your drawings that you can be proud of. But the whole point of a sketchbook is to express yourself, to express ideas and just experiment. Don't put any pressure on yourself, just throw ideas around, experiment with things, play with ideas, that's what it's for. So we're going to use a couple of different techniques on this page. Start by putting collage pieces down, I'm using newspaper here because I quite like the way text looks we're going to use a subtractive technique and we're going to use a paint technique on this page. So you need some gummed paper, which is quite easy to get from the post office. It's um, the stuff that's not sticky, but if you wet it, it will become sticky. So stick it down with the, with the shiny side up, first of all, because it's the, it's the gummed side that you want to use. So stick the other side down and then when you paint on top of it, you will get an interesting effect. Sometimes you want a sharp edge, sometimes you don't. So you can rip your tape in half so that you get a nice jagged edge, or you can use the nice clean sharp edge, depending on what you want and what you're wanting to achieve. So the subtractive technique is when you will take something away. So use masking tape and again rip it down the middle if you want to take away your sharp edges and lay that over some of your coloured paper, some of your text. Then you can either use a paintbrush or use the card scraping idea again to add paint to your surface. The thicker the better over your gummed tape because what's going to happen with that paint is it's going to react with the glue that's on that tape and it's going to start to split and crackle which can be a really interesting effect. And then because the masking tape is such a weak glue you can then peel off what you put on there and you will reveal again what you've got underneath so you'll have protected 
part of what's underneath the paint. This can be particularly useful if you want to keep a piece of text in a newspaper or form or a piece of a map. So remember your sketchbook is just for you. There should be absolutely no pressure on you to create something fabulous or interesting in a sketchbook. All you're doing is exploring ideas. There are no rules that say you have to show this to someone, that you have to impress anybody with it. So just explore some ideas, put down your thoughts, and it becomes a book that's just for you. Another technique that I use quite a lot is to sew into the page. So I will draw onto my sketchbook page and then I will either sew in with a needle and thread or you can also work into paper with a sewing machine and get some interesting effects as well. Remember a sketchbook is a place to express yourself. It doesn't matter what it looks like, it doesn't matter what it's for. You're there to experiment with techniques and different ideas so you can come up with something interesting on, say, a final piece that you want to do. It's there for doodling, it's there for self-expression, it's there for uh, documenting things. So use it. you can use it as a journal, you can express your thoughts with it. The point about a sketchbook is that it's not about perfection. It's a place to illustrate your life and get things down on paper and out of your head, whatever reason you may have for that. So go ahead, buy yourself a couple of sketchbooks and start playing with some ideas. Remember, if you want to contact me, you can do so by commenting below or you can contact me on the Facebook page, Artie Mouse Art Tutorials or on Instagram at Artie Mouse 76. Tell me what you think. Tell me what you've done with your sketchbook in the comments below. And I will see you next week.